So this is uh, Rory. He's one of the uh, archaeologists on site uh, here at Silchester. Um, Rory, can you tell me a little bit about what this rather curious machine is and what we use it for on site? Hello, this uh, is a flotation tank and um, it's used on site for finding organic remains um, from, from the excavation. And uh, when, when you're down on site, your, um, your supervisor will either tell you um, if it will have any significance. Um, so I'm talking about your feature. So if you have a post hole or a, or a pit or a well, um, in that case, if you are told to take a sample, then you'll come up, you'll get a bucket, um, which you'll fill up your sample with either it's normally either 10 liters to 40 liters so a bucket one bucket is 10 liters and you'll take a total of four if needed um, then that comes up here and what we do is we measure it out um, in this bucket which has somewhere um, liters so we measure it out in liters we write it down on the paperwork how much how, how many liters um, the, the earth is and then we pour it into here and then we turn the tank on <laughs> um, which sometimes can be very temperamental and uh, you can get soaked um, but once it's on um, there are bars going through this mach machine um, tank and the bars have little holes in it um, so when the, uh, the pump is on the water flushes through and like sprays up like a, like kind of like a fountain um, and then with your hands you help break up the material um, so that you try and get rid of all the mud you're left with silt but that goes to the bottom of the tank and the organic remains like charcoal seeds hopefully will rise to the surface and get, get collected in this little sieve here um, and after afterwards um, you dry your sample over here. This is the sample I made earlier, <laughs> and uh, and the flot, the flot actually dries over on that um, washing line by the hedge. Okay, 